Hey guys and welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be trying to cover um, as much as I know of the Voronoi fracture object with inside Cinema 4D. Um, this object goes into a lot more than I understand but for the basic part of it um, I somewhat understand it and um, I'll share with you the knowledge that I know and um, yeah so pretty much what it does is it creates these um, you you put it you set a object as a child of it and it fractures the objects into tons and tons of little uh, points and then with those points it makes cuts and everything I'll explain that more in a second but it fractures the object into all these tiny little pieces and if you put a um, dynamics bodies on it like rigid bodies and colliders and you press play the whole thing will actually shatter into the little pieces that it's created um, essentially essentially how these pieces are created is under this source tab there is the points generator so under this points generator this is what creates our random point so each one of these little dots is another random point for our cube and I had set the amount to 250 uh, I think originally it's like 20 or like 30 or something you press play it breaks into these big big cubes obviously the more points you have the smaller the pieces and the heavier it is for rendering on your machine but either way um, yeah so to basically understand the kind of how it does what it does is uh, let's say I had set this to two points so when I set this to two points there's only going to be one cut because for every points like for every pair of points in the exact middle of those points is where the cut is going to be so if we look we have our two points there's a cut in the middle and then if I did three points so now we have our uh, this point here and this point here there's a cut in the middle we go over here this point here and this point here there's a cut down the middle so it pretty much just generates points in random spots within our object and it makes a cut down the middle but one neat thing with this object is instead of using this point generator you can actually use objects as point generators so I had just dropped a stock cube in here I can drop this cube into the source for our point generators and now since our cube only has the four points on the corners like so these four points here it's gonna cut these into four equal spots so now if I press play they break into these four equal cubes so that's pretty neat that's one little trick that you can do you can you can use any you can use a platonic you can throw it in there it's just gonna make it a little crazy um, but because the plot platonic so low it's using the platonics points on the vertices and stuff so as I move it it changes um, the location of the fractures but if I place it here it's pretty symmetrical so when I go ahead and press play it breaks into these pretty equal parts but if I delete that I can add another distribution source and if I click on that and go to like 300 we get 300 points randomly generated and it fractures it in between every one of those points so when you press play it breaks into all these little uh, pieces here you could set a material for your object you just need to put it on the Fernoy fracture and uh, uncheck colorize fragments and then you get whatever color you uh, apply but it's it makes it a little bit easier to um, see the different pieces when they're colorized a few other little uh, cool little things within here is there is um, offset fragments so what this is going to do is the bigger we go is the bigger the gap between our fragments are going to be so as I crank this up you can see our pieces 
start to shrink until they disappear. So, because the space between them is bigger than the actual object, so you can uh, create things like that. But and then there's some other little buttons here, like the invert takes uh, all of the open space now once our offset fragments is on and changes it to it well it inverts where the the object is so I'll just go ahead and click this and you can see so now our little squares where our objects were floating around so look at this purple object and then when I hit invert it's that same shape so if I lower down the offset fragments to like two you'll notice that our edges get a little thinner and our points and our points where our uh, our little pieces were become bigger um, while you have either one of these options on you can set the hull only box and that's pretty much just the outside so if I check this the whole inside goes hollow and we get this kind of spline of uh, of the cube where it was so if I uncheck the vertice invert one you can see it it gives it this crazy kind of thing um, hollow object I don't know exactly what it does I think it might have something to do yeah not sure um, there's all of this stuff for for detailing your objects I don't even want to try to begin all of this I tried to mess around with it once and it didn't end very well but either way uh, you can add effectors and stuff to this so let's throw a random effector it randomizes our Vonoi object um, that's we can set it to scale uniform scale and we can set this to like minus 0.5 and it'll change the size of it and then it explodes because there's a bunch of intercepting points but you guys get the point of it so there's this is pretty much just the the basic stuff that I understand about this uh, fracture object I know there is a second fracture object within side cinema 40 it's just called fracture but I believe it just fractures the um, outside and it accounts the object as a hollow object so if I go ahead and drop the fracture onto our cube and I never actually tried using this one but let's say I try oh I think uh, it might be the other way yeah so if I try to like I really don't know does this have to be editable anyways clearly I don't know that object but um, the other one here the Vernoy fracture it works with any uh, object you put into it you can use a platonic if you really wanted to it's just gonna do the same thing every time and it's gonna create these these fractures in our in our uh, objects now that's because I got my material on there we go so yeah guys that's just pretty much the basic Vernoy fracture and kinda how it it works and how it chooses its um, fracture locations and some cool little tips and stuff that you can use to uh, even for um, material reason let's like you can technically I guess try to in make every single one of these these polygons here uh, a separate entity now like there's tons of them when you make it an editable object but you can go ahead and like add materials to each one of these individually now and I don't know render that into a, a cool little cool little thing but when we press play 
still fractures. But I won't ramble on and on. Um, just keep you guys with what I know so I'm not leading you in the wrong direction. But if you like the video, guys, hit that like button. And if you like the videos that we've been putting out, subscribe and there will be lots more where that came from. Alright guys, I'll see you all next.